or coral, or semi coral. Um. This looks like a range, though there aren't many animals around. Right? Ah, uh, you found it out! You again? Seriously? Where do you keep appearing from? I. I can show up anytime, anywhere. The system allows me to appear anywhere in this island. So thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? She's talking about that toy she's holding? <sighs> Still, I'm quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. She gonna oh, oh Hippity god, what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Boom. Turn into a moo cow. Did she wait? <laughs> what? <laughs> My mind's broken. I can't. She took a chicken with a magical wand and turned into a cow. How? <laughs> what? A huge success. What was all that just now? A chicken changed to a cow? That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change to a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? I want to investigate a cow. Looks like we got actually a lot of people here to talk to. Actually, just two. Although that's that sun effect, that sun glare that they got, that's a that's a nice effect. I like it. Next gen, totally next gen. So maybe we can maybe we can ask Nagito about all this. Yep. Yeah, it sure is peaceful. <laughs> if that cat was raised on a tropical island like this, it's probably really tasty, don't you think? Was it even raised here? I don't know. All right, let's go uh, check on the on the bird. A toucan, I think. A tropical bird. That's what you call it, right? I had no idea what's going on anymore. And it looks like we got a cow and a couple of people as well. Based on appearance, it looks like a regu just a regular run of the mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken to a cow anyway? I don't know. Sami Corral? Sami Corral, huh? I guess it's a ranch. How can the rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Okay, we got a couple of things we can interact with here. Let's talk to that girl over there. Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh. Gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Huh? Uh, haven't you met me? Haven't you? Oh wait, haven't you already met? Oh, haha. <laughs> sorry. I'm pretty much stuck. Uh, stuck at remembering names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. I think I'm gonna label the most. I'm gonna rem forget everybody's names. <laughs> I'm Nagito Komaeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Akane Owari, Akane Owari, okay, Akane Owari. Okay. Kanada forgets names, I'll try to remember that. Ultimate Gymnast, oh. Alright then. Well... Akane is known as an Ultimate Gymnast and an all-round super athlete. Rumor has it she's a wild, trou wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routine are mostly improvised. If if she's if she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performance must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she got the physique of an Olympic athlete. <laughs> I see where he's looking, Hajime. I see where he's looking. <laughs> I see where he's looking. Whole fragment from her, what? I think. Huh? Don't tell me. No one expected. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? <laughs> Hajime, uh... Nagito even... No, it's just... Right, Nagito? Right, I hope. God. Transcript. Yes, Nagito. Okay, good. You've been really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. <laughs> I mean, Akana does look pretty good. Not gonna lie, she looks, she looks pretty attractive. She's, you know, she's a really fit girl. What else we got over here? We got the cameras. I want to investigate those first. 
See, I want to try to investigate them in case we get those mana coins again, or any kind of similar currency. I guess Usa coins? I don't know. Even if we've been monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched at the same time. It's not really a good feeling. No, it's not. And there's another monitor here. Just as I thought, a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? Probably a monitor. It's for school announcements, I bet. For school announcements. Squish, squish. Hi! What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her fingers onto the floor with all the strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Hyoko Sayanji. Who? Okay, it's... <laughs> there gotta be a reason why a kid is within the school, right? <laughs> He's kinda cute, though. Ultimate traditional dancer. Oh! I guess it makes sense for the dress that she's wearing. Squish, squish. She hasn't stopped pressing her fingers onto the floor. Seriously, what is she doing? And her appearance and voice is so young, I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Yoko's talent had made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performance are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the young in Japanese dance industry. Well then again, her fans are mostly men. Probably. It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans are probably all have the same niche or something. <laughs> <laughs> so she's appealing to lolicons, okay, gotcha. <laughs> hey, what are you exactly doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ants, duh! <laughs> Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Oh, her eyes are a little bit demented though, not gonna lie. Come again? <laughs> if you squish the tummy is just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Hell no. Oh, okay. You was <laughs> This kid. Her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Teen Hope Fragment. So we got that. Alright, is that it over here? I think we investigated everything. Let's check the map real quick. Uh, the map will probably not give us anything unless... There, wait, apparently there is something for us to do here. What am I missing out here? What am I missing out here? Got the cow, got the sign, got the bird. Talk to Nagito. Should we talk to him again? Yep. No mind, he just said the same thing. Alright, so I guess we got back up here. We already met everybody, so I think it's fine. I think. Let's check the map just in case again. No, it still says something is on the map. It says we can go here as well. I do want to go around the other places as well, meet everybody else, so... Yeah, still so something is there. Unless they just, it just uh, indicates that there's just something there that you can interact with. I don't know, man. Let's go back in there. I want to make sure we got everything, right? Usami Cor uh, Usami Corral. Let's see, did I miss anything out? The girl? I already talked to Akana. Maybe I gotta talk to him again? <laughs> Pretty much, uh, pretty much suck at re uh, remembering names, and I met so many interesting characters today. Pretty sure I hit you up. Uh, uh, <laughs> it. I'm pretty sure I hit you up for your name again. So when it happens, I'm counting on you. You already assumed that you'll forget, huh? Now mind, I guess we got nothing else going on here, so we can leave, go around to the right side of the island, explore everything we go before we go to the uh, the area where most of them are. See, right now we're currently at the the corral here with. Akane and forgot her name already. <laughs> that's where most of them are in. So I'm not gonna go there just yet. And that's apparently the hotel site. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna go to the airport and the uh, the rocket punch market. All right, so we gotta go to the other side then. Also, let's check out my pet here. How many more steps do I have to take before my pet hatches? Until next growth, ten. Oh, let's see if you can walk for a little bit. Level up. Something happened with a pet? Let's see. Presents? Oh, we can get the pet presents, can't we? Clean? I can't really clean. So looks like we got a pet now. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a bunny, maybe? I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Let's go over to the other side then. That's the central island. We, already been, we, already, we can go there later on, I guess. The beach. Let's go to the airport first. There we are. Check this place out. 
Okay, so the we do have an airport, so maybe can we get out through one of the planes? I don't know. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be airplanes. Could we use one of those planes to escape this island? Ah. No, nah, that's impossible. If there were damage, I could I could fix them, but it looks like the planes are just for show. Just for show. Also, this guy's tongue is a little bit weird. Reminds me a little bit of Toko with her weird tongue thing that she had. <laughs> the engines have been completely removed. Nothing I could do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who was controlling that stuffed animal, Sami. But who is doing it? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Kazuichi Soda, the ultimate mechanic. Alright, so good thing we got a mechanic on our side. Kazuichi Soda, ultimate mechanic. Kazuichi Soda, ultimate mechanic. I'm gonna forget everybody's name. It's gonna take me a while to fully memorize them. <laughs> As expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually re remove the engine, whoever keeping us here must have planned, uh, planned this to a T. I'm gonna have to try to get the voices down, right, on, aren't I? <coughs> Even so, to actually remove the engine, there we go, that's a good voice. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that, doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Ah. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember? The school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Yeah, we already looked over them, didn't we? Extreme violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considered of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in, nat in mutual prosperity. The teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. For now, it looks like we're being kept safe. So why don't we just? Uh, so why would we be like this? God damn it! So why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spending these peaceful, relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Osami said earlier, it seems these rules are in place to keep us to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what you to what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. But don't be such a pessimist. You should think of the situation with a bit more hope, you know? Okay, this guy, first, he mentions hope. Next, he's a lucky student. Third, he did research on everybody. This is Makoto. This is Makoto. Game, why are you lying? This is Makoto. It's Makoto. You lie. The game is lying to us. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just do our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> If you stare closely at this strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. Obtain whole fragment. Nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, now the airplanes. Let's investigate those. To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engines. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Okay, let's see what we can investigate here. Welcome to paradise. This is, I mean, quite a paradise. Is that a pineapple in the baggage claim? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually pretty cool. What else we got over here? We got another mantra. Are there cameras here? Yeah, there are cameras again. Even if you've been monitored and not fallen safety, we're still being watched at the same time. It's not really a good feeling. No, it's not. I'm not gonna worry about the monitor again. Okay. Just checking to make sure we got everything. We just gotta talk to this guy here. So that is Kazuichi. Kazuichi the mechanic. The mechanic with the crazy purple hair and the tongue is Kazuichi. Alright then, I'll try to remember that. What did we just do? Stop right there. If you value life, don't come any closer. Huh? Fine. He has a really deep voice, doesn't he? Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try to replicate that, aren't I? <coughs> hmm. I, see, I, I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept the courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> he has a really deep voice. Who the hell is he? <laughs> he looks like somebody from 
Resident Evil, like, he looks like that merch from Resident Evil, except without the hood on. The one, what are you buying kind of guy, you know? Kind of sounds a little bit like him, maybe. <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as reckless. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Do we really want to know his name? He got a miscolored eye. He got what looks to be like a scar or like a tattoo. He got a earring with some sort of symbol on it. Entire left hand wrapped in wrapping or toilet paper. <laughs> the iconic thing about him is a scarf. Though. I think that's the one thing we gotta try, like remember him by. Very out of place, though. Definitely. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Gundam Tanaka. You know what? I, I can't even be mad. His name is Gundam. Freaking Gundam. I can't be mad. You know what? You rule the world, sir. You're one of the silliest and most badass names ever. <laughs> What's the guy's deal though? I just, I've got to ask. I have to ask. What is this dude's deal? Gundam Tanaka. Ultimate Breeder. Wait, what? What do you mean a breeder? What the hell does that mean, Ultimate Breeder? What is that? Wait, huh? Huh? Hold on. What is what? <laughs> what does Ultimate Breeder mean? <laughs> Rule this world? He's kidding, right? He's actually serious. It's pretty out there. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? You! He is very, Jesus, very intense. Which tribe do you make your pact with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean pact? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! What the hell? <laughs> this guy is insane. <laughs> Oh my god, that's crazy. Answer me now, though I shall, uh, though I shall cast you into watery grave once you do. It's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if he used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was- No, the only animal I was taken care of was a hermit crab who passed around in elementary school. Impossible! So, a mere insect. Taste your powerlessness! Ha, ah, your magic essence caps a lowly five. Trash. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Gundam, please relax, buddy. Trash, really? Meal. Hmm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> Where do they come from? <laughs> Why does he have hamsters everywhere? <laughs> Wait, oh my god, don't tell me he's ultimate breeder because he breeds hamsters. Don't tell me- oh my god, don't tell me- oh my god, is that- is that why he's ultimate- Really? Is that- was that really an ultimate- oh my god, what- <laughs> This guy, this guy makes me want to just stand up and walk away. <laughs> what do you think I am? I am the great- who do you think I am? I'm the great powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of his scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! He is very hardcore in his voice. Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you've seen on a nature show. I guess it solely fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devils of destruction. Mirage, Golden Hawk, Junpi, as this to say. We're not used to doing e going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Ha ha ha! This guy's nuts. This guy's legitly crazy, and I kind of like him. Gundam, Gundam the breeds hamsters. <laughs> Has an epic voice and a bunch of crap that he wears on himself. <laughs> oh my God, Gundam! Ah. Oh. I was really hoping that when I start playing this game, I would get very unique characters. And you know what? Certainly a lot of unique, very unique characters. Dane whole fragment. <laughs> um, yeah. I know it seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal and even managed to succeed as proliferating and endangered species. Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speaks with animals? 
Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a per no person would attempt to raise hamsters inside his own scarf. Well, I guess that's it. We met uh, Kazuichi, the uh, mechanic, and Gundam, the ultimate hamster breeder. Kazuichi and Gundam. It's gonna be impossible not to remember the name Gundam. I mean, it's freaking Gundam. <laughs> okay, so let's do a quick recap on everybody we met so far before we get to the next location, right? Currently right now we have, on our report card, we have Hajime Hinata. He was born January 1st, likes Kusamochi, dislikes Sakura Mochi. Ultimate nothing. He doesn't know what he is yet. Similar to what Kyoko had. Kyoko was a mystery as well. And I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what, you know, what his actual ultimate is as we go on forward. We also learn about Nagito Komaeda. Nagito is ultimate lucky student and highly resembles in every way, shape or form Makoto. He is the Makoto of this visual novel. <laughs> we got Gundam, the ultimate breeder. Dislikes earthy life. Likes four dark devils of destruction. Okay, the ultimate eccentric, most eccentric character so far, Gundam Tanaka. Now we have Kazuichi Soda, the ultimate mechanic. He seems to be pretty chill, except his tongue and teeth kind of remind me of uh, Toko when she's, you know, batshit insane. We have Akana, the ultimate gymnast that forgets names. I can easily relate to her, no problem. No, no problem whatsoever. No problem at all. Then we got also. Yoko Sayonji, which apparently is the ultimate traditional dancer and is a rude, is a rude, a rude teen in the little kid's body, pretty much. Okay, so we met. That's a re that's a quick recap of all the characters we met so far. Uh, let's head over to the next area, shall we? It's kind of. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit exhausting meeting new characters, but it's cool at the same time because, like, I don't know. It's just new characters. It's pretty cool. Now we got the Rocket Punch Market. I need some water real bad. I completely forgot how difficult it is to keep track and voice everybody that we meet. 